I think the good thing about winning everything is when you come into the uh, pros, you got so much confidence that you believe in yourself. So I actually think it's a good thing, but it's gonna take a lot for to be dominant amateur and dominant pro. No, that, that, that's the plan, be a go pro and uh, go come from the ranks and be the best. My name's Alex Arberton. I'm 11 years old now from Bakersfield, California. I ride a KX85. on Team Green was an honor when I heard it. There's, there's a lot of great people to, that support you and um, get the best bikes out there. So, couldn't be better. When I think about my, my amateur career, I think about how influential uh, Team Green was to my program and the KX brand. When I was Team Green, latter part of my amateur career, I mean, all I wanted to do was be on factory Kawasaki. I grew up racing a KX60, a KX80, KX125, KX250 as an amateur and uh, was extremely successful and uh, it was all because of the Team Green program. I wanted to win championships for Kawasaki, have my name on the list, to be in the Hall of Fame at Kawasaki where all of the vintage bikes are and you got Jimmy Weinert's bikes and you got you know Ken Howerton's super bike and you got Jeff Ward's bikes and all the way through that, that's where I wanted to be. They gave me a huge amount of support, and uh, I am very, very thankful for it. I mean, for sure the best amateur program you could ever want to be on all the, the best of the best road for them. I spent some time with one other brand, but that was it. It was only the two brands, and it always was Kawasaki felt like home, and I always wanted to be a Kawasaki champion. And now that I was able to complete my pro career and I look back that I not only had the opportunity but I took advantage of that opportunity and was able to achieve success and live those dreams. I, I mean sometimes I just have to pinch myself like I can't believe, I mean it's like how did I get here? Oh, you're just still stuck out there, huh? No, I actually don't fish a lot, but yeah, I hooked my friend right in the eye. So, that wasn't a good deal. And it was at Loretta's, best part. Yeah, he wasn't very happy at all. But the funniest thing is, is I was all like, ah. <laughs> started jerking on it. Ah! Ah! I was like, what's wrong, Cooper? Oh, God. You're always wishing you're out there. I mean, it's the funnest thing to do. Why would I be doing it if I don't love it? I'm all, you know, I always, usually I get a ride a lot, but when I don't, yeah, I am dreaming about it for sure. So. Sean Cantrell, I'm 13 years old, and I ride a KX85 and a KX100. Being part of uh, Team Green is definitely an honor. Um, they have just phenomenal, phenomenal bikes. Um, it's just, I don't know what to say, it's just an amazing team to be on. At home I play baseball, um, I pitch a little bit but mostly shortstop. I'm probably better at riding a motorcycle. Um, I like the endurance, it's a little faster, a lot faster. Um, so hopefully I can be a professional motocross rider when I'm older. Before Team Green I was with uh, Yamaha and looking at Team Green from the outside it was the place to be. Um, and when we had the opportunity to, to go ride for Kawasaki in, in the Team Green program, we took it um, because of the stepping stones from 60s to 80s to then big bikes and then into the professional rank. Um, it was the only way to go. Um, and, and once we were able to do that, it was, it was a great decision that we made to, to ride for Kawasaki. My favorite rider to look up to that, that went amateur and now is pro is Ryan Wilfoto. Because I'm always thinking, oh, I did this like Ryan, I did this like Ryan, maybe I'll end up like him. So i always been thinking about that, and uh, hopefully one day that'll come true. 
Well, I mean, I think Kawasaki has a lot of championships in, in every class, and, and on top of that, a whole lot of race wins. Um, and that, obviously, number one, you have to have a, a great bike underneath of you. Um, and also, just the team around you, the people that, that, that work for the team that you work with every day, um, from mechanics to engine people to suspension to team managers, every, every um, piece of the puzzle, it has to be great. And, and kind of what I've, you know, never rode anywhere else, just looking on from the outside in is, is, is it doesn't look like they're real families anywhere else, but like at Kawasaki, everybody um, is a family. Like it's all, we're all there to do one job and that's to win and everybody's gonna help each other do that. It benefits me having someone there to ride with. You know, I think I have all the right people around me. I think it's up to me to, to put it together and to have a smooth transition of the pros. Obviously, Adam just moved up from the 80s and, and now is, is hopefully here going to be debuting himself here real soon. It's up to me pretty much just I got to make it happen.